A small plant factory in New Taipei is growing lettuces with generative AI. The factory uses hydroponics to grow a wide variety of different lettuces. They are sold in stores and restaurants, and consumers can buy their own system to grow produce at home. FTV took a tour of the factory. Workers wrapped up in coveralls and mob caps carefully colonize this tray with seedlings. Each step is important to making sure they grow successfully. This is called a batavia lettuce. It has red pigment. There's quite a high amount of anthocyanin in this, so it needs more red light in its lighting. Factory director Lin Xinghong explains that in hydroponics, the growth of plants depends on the strength and color of the light sources, as well as the arrangement and distance of the lamps. It's difficult to adequately mimic natural environments. We find that the disturbance of a fan gives them just a bit more nice crispness. In the first step, when we check it before packaging it, we're looking at its appearance. For example, has it squeezed the top of the container? Does it have any bad parts? And if so, we cut them off. These insights are the results of years of work by the development team. This smart plant factory in New Taipei's Banqiao uses automated technology to produce organic hydroponic plants. They are sold in department stores and convenience stores, as well as high-end restaurants. And you can even buy a smart field to take home and grow on your own. People have made lots of breakthroughs now, especially at NVIDIA, in terms of chip settings. They're very good now. Also, we have generative AI. Previously, we had it fully automated, so if our nutrient feed lacked something, when it was detected, it would be automatically added. Or if it got too hot, the cold air would automatically be turned on. The farm looks like a series of small aquarium tanks, but they can grow many different types of lettuce. Special modes apply to different varieties of the plant. You can even try the system at home. Perhaps before long, you won't even need to press a button to control it. But you'll just run the farm on voice control. With AI, anything seems possible.